What's up everybody? This is Murdoch 3K and today we're talking about building your own AR-15. I finished up my build a while back and uh, I haven't talked about it. I haven't done a video on this yet. You, I think I've featured this in a video but I hadn't talked about it but we're going to talk about it today. Um, first let's talk about the safety. The bolts back and I don't know if you can see it from there but it is empty. No magazine no round in the chamber we're all good to go for those concerned about my safety we're we're okay all right so building your own ar my recommendation i absolutely recommend that you should at least try it and um there's some whys and why nots into why one may want to and one why while why one may not want to let's talk about some of the reasons why Number one, and the biggest reason for me, is you get everything you want in your rifle and nothing that you don't want. Kind of like the old Xterra ads, Nissan Xterra, that was kind of their thing. If you got everything you wanted and nothing you don't. So that's number one. Number two, you get a better understanding of how your rifle works. You have a better understanding on how these parts work come together and um, that's important especially it gives you confidence when operating your firearm when cleaning it and just all around safely handling your firearm so that's big that's a huge huge plus why one may not want to um, put together their own rifle number one a myth is that you will save money building your AR at best, you will break even, especially if it's your first build, you will definitely spend more because you're going to have to get some specialized tools. And if you have some of those tools, at best, you're going to break even. I'll say that you're going to break even at best uh, to put together a decent build, unless you're just going to go for like a wish build from parts from wish and other things, you're going to pretty much either come right at or above maybe what you could get uh, for, for a, an equivalent uh, store build. All right, so let's see what else. Why? Oh, also, you might not want to put these things together if you are not so good with putting things together in the first place. If you're not good with your hands, if you're not good with following instructions, if you're not good with building things, then this might not be for you. Now, it is not difficult. I want to say that right now. It is not a challenge. If you've put together successfully a baby crib or a dresser, you can definitely put one of these together. Again, number one, you have to have the proper tools and you have to be a little patient and follow some instructions. If you can do that, you will have no problem putting together your own rifle. Number three, another reason why you might not want to, if something breaks on your rifle, even if the part is has a warranty, usually those warranties are only good if a licensed gunsmith is putting these things together. If you're doing it yourself and you're not a professional, and if it breaks, it's pretty much going to be on you. If you're at the range and something goes bad on this thing, it's going to be on you. All right. So those are some things to consider um, whether you want to put your own rifle together or not. Some of the challenges that I had while putting together this rifle, uh, if I didn't say it earlier, again, this was my first build, so getting the proper tools. Uh, it costs money, and so you don't want to just go out and spend all your money. You get a tool here, a tool there, until you have all the tools you need. And then the second thing is because of the time in which we're living, parts are hard to come by. So getting the parts that you wanted for your build was also a challenge. So those were my two challenges. But far as the actual construction of the build, it was not a challenge at all. I used some good tutorials. The guys named uh, a channel called TacFix. Uh, they provide a great tutorial you can watch on GunStreamer. Uh, and it is wonderful in helping you build together, uh, put together your AR. There's some other guys out there that do great tutorials. YouTube generally bans it, so you're going to have to go to GunStreamer or somewhere else. Um, but that's where, where I got my uh, base knowledge for how to, how to put these things together. Um, let's talk about the parts for this particular build. We used an Anderson lower receiver. We had a grid defense upper receiver in this build. We have the grid defense bolt carrier group. This is the full auto version. 
We have a Aero Precision Complete Lower Parts Kit. This includes the hand grip. The Aero Precision Buffer Tube Kit. This is for the carbine. AIM Sports 15 inch hand guard including the barrel nut. The Hera CCS buttstock. I love this buttstock. We have the Grid Defense Carbine Gas Tube and the gas block. We have a Grid Defense Charging Handle. We have the Bear Creek Arsenal 16 inch heavy barrel. This is the 300 Blackout coming together. I'm not going to show me actually putting it together because I won't get necessarily flagged for it, but they uh, limit your monetization. And so I'm not going to show me actually assembling this rifle. But I do hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this build come together and the finished result. Remember, when you're building your rifle, you build it the way you want. You do you. You make it work for you. It's okay to be inspired by other people. And if that, if you see a particular build that works for you, you do that. You can do that. But just don't let people push you in a corner and you end up with a product that you're not happy with. You make sure you're happy with what you come out with. And that's about it, guys. I, I really appreciate it sharing with you. Thank you for coming along with the journey. I really appreciate the comments and the people who've been helpful with suggestions. Uh, keep on keeping on and you guys be safe, be good to one another and live the dream.